Hello everybody and welcome to my sixth annual Body Coach Boxing Day HIIT workout. I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas day and you're ready for a good workout. It's going to be fun, nice and simple, 20 moves, 20 minutes, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. And I've got a confession, this isn't actually live because of the time difference in LA. So I'm filming this on Christmas day and I've never in my life exercised on Christmas day. But I didn't want to let you down, I wanted to make sure we all got moving. So, although it's not live, there's going to be thousands of people doing this together right now all around the world. So thanks for tuning in, we're going to start things off with a little warm up, we've got two minutes on the clock, get ourselves ready, then we're going to go into our first exercise. So first up, hands out to the side, we're going to touch our toes, left to right, get ourselves nice and warm, and then we're going to go into our 20 minutes, 20 moves, every single exercise is different. So kind of like P with Joe, body weight only, and you're going to feel fantastic at the end of it. A few little rotations, so elbows up, twisting the body a little bit. So yeah, I hope you had a great Christmas, enjoyed all the food, had a wonderful day with your family, and today, Boxing Day, I hope you have an amazing time with your family and friends, and I'm about to do the workout and then I'm about to cook myself a Christmas dinner. Next thing I'm gonna do, just lift your knee up and out. So lift your knees, open up your hips. So I've gone for Christmas, uh, no, I'm not having turkey, I've gone for a chicken and a nice bit of ham. So roast ham and chicken. Um, looking forward to it. Right, knees up, perfect. Next I'm going to do kind of um, a squat, just come down nice and low like this, and I'm just going to open up my hips again, so just sort of push the knee out, come onto your tiptoes or the balls of your feet, feel the hips open up. So the time is set, 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. If that feels too difficult, you can do 30 seconds on, you can have a little bit more rest, or you can miss an exercise out to catch your breath and come back in, but try and finish all 20 moves together, Let's finish the workout together, yeah? Right, next one, we're just gonna do a couple of um, toe touches to the floor, and then stretch up. Touch the floor, stretch up with those arms. Brilliant. So in 43 seconds, we're gonna start the workout. Next one, a few big circles with the arms, to get those arms coming backwards, anti-clockwise, and then we'll switch direction. So, we are ready for our Boxing Day HIIT workout, 20 moves, 20 minutes. Once that timer starts, we've got 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds rest. Let's do our best, get as much energy as we can, and have an amazing Boxing Day workout. Are you ready? Here we go. In 12 seconds time, first exercise is gonna be jogging on the spot, or if you're a beginner, you can march, and if you're really fit, you can sprint. So jogging, sprinting, marching. Here we go, three, two, one, come on. 40 seconds on the clock. I really want to pick up your energy, get you feeling really happy. That's why I do it. Come on, 30 seconds left. Knees up, nice straight arms, and pump those knees, get them high. Drive those knees up. Excellent, come on, push it. 20 seconds to go. Come on. Nice and quick. Can you go a little bit faster in the last 10 seconds? Come on, let's go. Knees up. Remember, we're gonna get a 20 second break. Let's go, three, two, one, and recover, right. 20 seconds to catch our breath. Next exercise, lower body. We're gonna squat down, so we're gonna sit down into like an imaginary chair. As we stand up, we bring the knee up and across. So we squat to knee, squat to knee. Off we go. So come on, every exercise is different. We're gonna do full body, upper body, lower body, and also some abs exercises as well. So you can do this if you're a beginner, if you're more fit, you can adapt some of the moves. If someone don't feel right, you're not into it, or you just wanna switch it, just skip it out, or switch it for something different, like another run on the spot, or a plank, or a set of lunges. Right, get nice and low. Sit down into that squat, drive, up, drive the knee up to the elbow. Come on, we're doing it. Boxing day here. Thank you, as always, for tuning in and training with me on the Body Coach TV. I appreciate it, I love it. And honestly, this is the first time in my life I've ever exercised on, on Christmas day. Right, so next up, we're gonna be in a high plank position. So step back, and then we're gonna step into like a squat hole. So step back and Sit into that kind of squat. 
So feet back into the plank, step forward, and just get that little hold. So you're sort of pausing for a second in that squat hold position. So we step back, step up. If you want to make it tougher, you can jump the feet out and jump the feet in. So you can jump, 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 jump. It's quite tough, hard on the legs. You're going to feel it burn up the quads, or you can step them in. Just try and sit into that deep squat. Get them legs working. Come on. Eight seconds. Nearly there. Four, three, two, one. And relax. Right. Our legs have warmed up now. We're going to go for an exercise I call the clap unders. So we're just going to lift our leg up, clap hands underneath the knees. Right. So we've done the Christmas presents this morning. Went for a nice walk. They're all out. Waiting for me to finish this. Right, come on. And then the kids will come running back in. Right, clap unders for 40 seconds. Come on. I really hope you're feeling good today. And I always say, you know, whenever you feel at the start of a workout, you always feel better at the end. So well done for just turning up, pressing play. I promise at the end of it, you're gonna feel so much more energized, so much happier. Come on, we're here, we're doing it. Clap, clap, 10 seconds. Then we're gonna go into a lower body exercise, another one on the legs. Come on, nice and drive, nice and drive, nice and high, drive them up. Rest, right, that's four moves complete. Number five is gonna be a reverse lunge with a knee drive. So you're gonna reverse lunge and then drive the knee up. So we're gonna do 20 seconds on just the right leg, then we'll switch. So right leg goes back, drive up. So you're sort of stepping back into that reverse lunge, drive the knee up. We'll do 20 seconds on this right leg, then we'll switch and put the left leg back. Excellent, come on, five seconds, then we switch. Right, here we go, so we're gonna change legs now. Now left leg goes back, and drive the knee up. Whew. Come on, what a way to end, well, to end the year, we're nearly there, aren't we? We have a workout, 10 seconds. <sighs> drive that knee up. Three, two, one, and relax. Right, next exercise, we're gonna do a plank, in a high plank position. And what we're gonna do, if you can, just hold the plank. If you want another challenge, you're gonna walk the feet in and then out. In, out. If you can't do that, you can do an elbow plank. So we're trying, if we can, high plank, walk in and out. We're walking back into that plank. Keep the abs tight. Feet come in, out. Excellent, come on, it's tough on the shoulders, this one. You've got to really lock the arms out. If you get a bit tired, shake your arms off for a few seconds. It hurts the shoulders. Give them a little few seconds to recover and then go back in again. Come on, heart rate's going up now. Sweat's starting to come out. So we're gonna to start to feel the energy come through our bodies now. And you're gonna feel really good at the end of it. Come on, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. And rest. Well, they never get easy, do they? Hit training, it always challenges you. That's the great thing about it. It's like 20 minutes, it's short, it's sweet. Next up is an abs exercise. So, we're gonna do some crunches. We're gonna lift our legs up to 90 degrees like this. And we're crunching to there. So we're trying to get our shoulders and head off the ground. I'm not sure I understand. And crunch. Excellent. Breathe in on the way down. Exhale, you come up, so inhale, exhale. Really think about contracting your abs, so lengthen and then shorten. Nearly there, this is number seven, seven of 20. It's going quick, it's a fast workout. 20 minutes will be over before you know it. Come on, use the abs, use the abs. And relax. Right, up we get on our feet. Number eight. Number eight, this is a called a climb the rope. So it's like running on the spot, but you reach up and climb the rope. So nice and quick. Let's try and get the heart rate back up again. Whew. Right, 40 seconds in three, two, one, let's go. Come on. Stretch up, 
Imagine pulling a rope down from the sky towards your tummy, nice and quick. We're gonna go down on the ground up this for some push-ups. So let's go fast. Knees up high. Come on, push yourself. 20 seconds. If you start to slow down, just think, can I grab it quicker? The three answers always yes, come on. Always yes. Knees up, stretch up, push. That's it, eight seconds. Oh, come on, we're alive. Three, two, one, and rest. Okay, next up, push-ups. So, you can do these obviously as a full push-up, like this. If you want to make them slightly easier, go knees on the ground, chest to floor, push-up. So you're just going to work your chest and triceps. Let's go. 40 seconds. Take your time as well, you can do them controlled. It's harder, tuck, tuck the elbows in. Slow erection, much harder. Control it on the way down. And push up, come on. Never in a million years, I think, I was going to exercise on Christmas day. It's the one day I have a break, but I did not want to let you down. I had to deliver, I had to deliver the Boxing Day hit. Come on. Big press, come on. How many more you got in the tank? And rest, good effort. Okay, number 10, I'm sweating now. Right, next one we're gonna do, if you can, ski hops. Just make sure your rug or mat isn't gonna slip, but we sort of hop left to right. So like you're sort of ice skating, if that's too difficult, just step into it. Step, step, same sort of thing, let's go. So you're hopping onto one leg. Nice big lateral movement, working the legs. Obviously the, the further you take the leg behind you, the, the harder it is. So you can sort of get right down. You'll use more muscles. Ah. This is number 10, come on, halfway through. Ah. Oh, it's the leg burner. It's a leg burner, shake them off if you need to. Okay, come on. Last few jumps. Work these legs, come on. Five seconds. Three, two, one. Oh. Right, next move. We're halfway through, well done. Let's catch our breath. We're now gonna go for some walk out. So you walk out with your hands, like this. Walk out into a high plank. When you walk back up, we're gonna do three squats or squat jumps. So walk out into three squat jumps. Let's go, so walk out, high plank, walk back. When you're up, you do three squats. One, two, three, or three squat jumps. Now we walk out. Come on, walk out, high plank, walk back. Three big jumps, come on. Come on, this is gonna get progressively more challenging as we go through. We're gonna finish on a high, you're gonna feel strong, you're gonna feel energized, and you're gonna feel buzzing. You'll be buzzing after this. Come on. 10 seconds. Ah. Last walkout. Last one. And, and rest. Right, good move that. Okay. Number, ooh, number 12, mountain climbers. So down on the ground, high plank position. And we're gonna go knees to chest. So you can do slow or fast, whatever works for you. Let's go. Just try and get those knees to sort of come right up towards your chest. So if you are doing slow, just really bring the knee up. Really, loads of shoulders, but really works the abs as well. So tough move, especially after them walkouts. Come on, keep going. We've got 20 seconds left. 20 seconds. And we've got an abs exercise on our backs. Come on, stay up if you can. Shoulders are tired. We're not going to quit. Hang on, hang in there. Ah. Ah. Oh, buckle. Ah. Three, two, one. Ah. Ah. Always a challenge, no matter how many times I do a hit, because you're trying to just squeeze every exercise out and get as much out of each one. It's always a tough. It's always tough. And it always should be challenging. Right, next up, bicycle crunches. So, we can go single leg like this. Off we go. So crunch, 
bringing the elbow to meet the knee. If that's too easy, you can do both, but slow it down where you kick both feet completely off the ground. Elbow to knee, crunch, kick, crunch, kick. Oh, ah, oh, it's a good abs exercise there. <sighs> Nearly there. We're going to be getting up on our feet for a squat hold for the next one, which is a, a static movement. We're just going to hold a squat and really burn those quads out. <sighs> oh, right, we're up. We're doing it, we're here, we're still here, let's not give up. So, next up is a squat hold, which is essentially, once you're down, you're down, right? So get into that position, you can go narrow, the feet can go wider, but once we're down, sit into it, we're down, we stay there, you're gonna really feel the burning, you're shaking. Here we go. Come on. What a great way to start the day. Amazing effort, thanks for tuning in. Boxing day morning. Right, we're holding this now. So the weight's in the heels, arms out nice and straight. The stick into that position and stay there. Oh, I said that too early, I'm burning up. And you're gonna to start to sort of lean forward. Try not to, try and look straight ahead. Weight in the heels, imagine you're sitting into that chair. Feel the burn, feel that strength coming through the quads now, the fire in the quads, come and hold it. Nah, hold it. Down an inch, hold it. Oh, there's your strength, there's your strength, right. Next up, we've got a plank hold. So we're gonna do a similar thing uh, in a plank. So we're gonna be on our hands, just holding the position, nice and strong. If you want it, you can do this on the elbows. But if you can, let's go up here, just hold. It's just a nice, strong position. So hands are stacked under the shoulders. Don't have a bend, lock them out. And now actively up, squeeze your quads. Tense your glutes, squeeze your abs, just tighten it up, tense it, really contract every muscle in your body now. So you're drawing that belly button up towards the spine. Draw it up, draw it up, come on. If you make it a bit tougher, you can take the hands away slightly. Just create that, increase that distance between your hands and feet. That makes it harder. Squeeze tightly, three, two, one. Ah, oh, oh, right. 15 moves complete, five to go. So, next up, you can do a power squat if you want, which is like this. Power squat, or if you want to just do a more, a line back one, just squat a little bit slower. Let's go. So feet go wide, in, out, in. Look straight ahead, fingertips hit the ground. So your arms are straight, Touch the ground, come on, last five moves, and we've completed our Boxing Day hit. If you've done it six years in a row, let me know in the comments how you found it, and let me know on Instagram, hit me up with a DM, love to know how you feel after this Boxing Day hit, if it's picked up your energy or your mood. I love reading those messages. Oh, okay, last few seconds, come on, nearly there, and rest. Okay, next up. So we've done the sprint at the beginning. This time we're going to do a bit of a lower, like a low sprint. So rather than bring the knees up really high, a bit lower and just up really, really quick. Oh, oh and will I never. Boxing day. Right, come on, let's go. I would love to have done it live, live, but it would be, it would have been like midnight here. Right, come on. Come on, Woo. come on, faster, nice and low, pump the arms, oh. deep breath, 15 seconds, come on, faster, push, finish strong, only three more moves after this, quick feet, quick feet, quick feet, three, two, and one. Oh, okay, next move, nice and simple, old school, star jumps, or jumping jacks they call them over here, oh, right, two more moves after this, so let's go, let's go, 
Start jumps, hands by the head. Come on, we're doing it. 20 moves, 20 minutes. Amazing effort from you today. I remember all the YouTube workouts, there's hundreds on there, so if you want a little bit of motivation this Jan, come back, just pick a workout. I always say my motto is just press play. Just choose one, I'll get you through it. So if you're stressed or down and just low on energy, come back and press play. Choose any workout and I promise I'll get you through it and you'll feel amazing at the end of it. Even if it's temporary, you know you always feel better at the end. Come on, come on. Oh. 20 seconds, and I always say, and I repeat this a lot, but motivation is waiting through the end of a workout. It's never at the start, it's always at the end. The feeling you get at the end of it, that's what you've got to tap into to know that you're going to feel better when you come back. And you're going to feel energised and wicked. All right, okay. Next up, hands on the ground, kick back, stand up, kick back, stand up, kick back, stand up. You can slow this down by walking them in and walking them out. Walk in, walk out. If you want to go quicker, a bit faster, just jump out, jump in. Come on. Ah, nearly there. 15 seconds left. Stand up tall. Ah, 10 seconds. Come on. I need one more move after this. What's it going to be? What's the last move going to be? Right, so here it is. It's quite a tough one. If you, if you can't do them, just do reverse lunges, right? Nice and simple. Just step back. If you want to go hardcore, we're going to jump into it. Lunge, jump. It's the final move, 40 seconds. Are you ready? Come on. So jump into it. Switch. Switch. Switch, keeping that back nice and straight. Drop down. Feel the burn in these legs now, come on. Ah, oh, I've cracked. All right, this is the last move. 20 of 20. We've got 23 seconds left. Come on, stay with me to the end. Let's hit the bell. Let's hit that bell, come on, hit the bell. How many reps can you do, come on. Keep jumping, burning, quads are on fire. 10, nine, eight, come on, keep jumping. Come on, this is it. Boxer day hit, last one. Oh, oh my word, they will get you, those lung jumps will get you. So listen, firstly, have an amazing day, thanks for tuning in today, I hope that's given you a bit of energy, giving you a chance to feel positive about, I hope you loved it and had fun, and to anyone that's done any of my workouts this year, whether it's on the, the app, on the YouTube channel, thank you for taking part, and I really look forward to training with you next year. Keep coming back, keep pressing play, and keep doing it for your mental health, okay? Lots of love to you, happy Boxing Day, and I'll see you soon for another workout here on The Body Coach TV. Bye, everybody.